<laughs> I might as well say go ahead and like the video and subscribe wherever that's at you'll get notifications for this and other projects we have going on this project is a 24 foot Bristol Corsair that's what it is can you hear me through this mask thing the Bristol Corsair so right now this is just a continuation of me cutting these fittings and when I'm all done I'm going to lay five of this whole thing uh, make sure everything's waterproof and then we're going to put new coring lay glass up over that lots of fun you know what I'm talking about So, let me go ahead and keep cutting. Look how gooey that stuff is, huh? this here this is all the epoxy and what have you people have to pour in so they don't have to cut into the top and uh, you know obviously all of this could have been done right from the bottom here like I'm doing now without much cosmetic issues so there's that there's our bolt Happy little bit. And if you look carefully here, you've got your this is your four bolts. One, two, three, four. So I believe a stanchion up there. And then you have this crack here. See this? It goes right here. Crack and crack all the way down so all of this extra little bit of see this thing see this see that moving that's a hole right to the top side so it's a good thing i'm blasting this all all together so there's uh painting your deck is what you're doing The other issue here, which I'm going to point out, is here. Um, you can see, I think you can see that moving. So this is not rotten, but it's loose. And uh, that's pretty consistent. Let me get a, I got a tool on it. So you can see that moving. And this is, like I said, pretty consistent. So what that means is that although there is no pouring under your rails like it is here, you're definitely going to have to re-bed these if you don't want them to leak. This is going to leak. So you need to re caulk these. Thank <laughs> you. 
See that? Quick MTV crab. See all the crap? This is about this is a ton of crap. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut these last two, and, uh, or three actually, one, two, three, and, um, let the rest of this dry out, there's not really much left to dry couple little areas that I dug out with the chisel um, so I'll be back a little bit later tonight and I'm gonna start glassing with uh, another guy and uh, hopefully get some of this sealed up you know what I'm talking about so If you made it this far and you would like to see the rest of this job progress, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe. You know what to do. Uh, appreciate you watching. Go ahead and subscribe. Makes me happy. Thanks a lot.